ever <clears throat> elusive quest to become a better poser. Uh, sometimes I tend to uh, try to do more difficult shots. Um, and it should start off simple. And I have done simple, and I kind of go back and forth. I'll do something a little more difficult. And then it kind of humbles me, and I go back to simple. And, you know, again, it's just the process of uh, becoming a better poser. I mean, I, I've i been, uh, I guess, doing ACBA for less than two years, maybe a year and a half. I've uh, been a collector a long time. Uh, you know, and and posing them is something that's that's fairly new. You know, because when I was younger and I had GI Joes and whatever, they were just beefing. They was fighting. I wasn't necessarily when they, and if I, ever I posed them on a shelf, you know, they were just kind of standing up. They weren't necessarily um, doing anything that was uh, fighting or anything like that. So, uh, what I wanted to do in this scene is just have Daredevil kind of jumping up and uh, kicking Bullseye. Um, and I think it moved a little bit because, yeah, he must have slipped. So basically, you know, the idea behind it, um, was to put Daredevil, uh, on a flight stand. Uh, and what I like about these particular flight stands is that, uh, they can get, they get loose sometimes, but then you can just tighten them up and then they, uh, you know, Daredevil's been in that pose pretty much all night long. Uh, Bullseye slid off the box a little bit so he was a little bit higher and uh daredevil was just um kind of knocking him um to the side so that was kind of the idea so i'm gonna go back now and uh i posted it up on the acb page acba page uh this morning and and i like uh whenever i get constructive criticism um because it allows me to to improve and and so last night i decided to leave this this up because i had a feeling that uh, I might get some some uh, some feedback, so uh, I'm gonna try the shot again, and I may actually try having Daredevil come down at an angle um, this way instead of kind of that way. Uh, yeah, but I'll try it again. So basically, yeah, with just the, the flight stand and just using this uh, you know this little um, wooden box in the back to hold uh, Bullseye. Um, I did have a pair of nunchucks that fell behind the box. I had them in a uh, Bullseye's hand. Uh, that didn't come up in the picture. One of the um, Tommy actually, Tommy had said that uh, you know I should uh, not cover Daredevil's face as much in the picture and in his arm, which I had kind of extended it in a certain way just because it was the bar was in the way. But yeah, so I'm gonna try it out again, and then I will reshoot this. Peace. So the uh, the prior scene to this scene, um, I had crossbones just point blank. Uh, shot that he was going to take um, at Tony who was down uh, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of get that uh, shot beforehand and then um, and I'm, I'm just kind of hesitating this because I'm pulling it up on my phone so basically this was the prior shot or the prior posing or the you know um, the before, and uh, yeah, man, it looks like Crossbones has a uh, is ready to just unload, and then um, out the cut, Bucky comes through and uh, hits him in the uh, mid or, or lower back, um, which causes uh, causes Crossbones to you know kind of snap back. His head snaps back and. The gun he's still holding, but it kind of snapped back his arm, uh, strained out a little bit. So uh, that was the um, the idea behind this man. Originally, I, I was in a, I was at work, and uh, you know a lot of a lot of uh, uh, my motivation just comes from you know people consistently putting some some great pictures. Um, you know, if it's not Michael Wisman, it's uh, John Connor. You know, it's uh, uh, CJism, I think that's how you say his name, um, over on Instagram, uh, man, there's, there's a bunch of dudes that, uh, I love their style, and I, and I love when, I when they, they put new stuff up, and, um, anytime I see them, those guys, uh, Jason, uh, anytime I see these guys, um, 
putting some pictures up on on the ACBA page. It always motivates me. So uh, I'm driving home and I'm like, man, I have an idea where I was. I, I, I originally I think the idea was going to be Pit was going to be grabbing I think Rip Claw and and slamming him into um, that kind of hole. And and I have I created um, you know the wood floor to kind of come apart. I just can't find the day. I just can't. Find. Dude, I saw them the other day somewhere, and I, I should have put them with the rest of like my my dial props, and I didn't. Um, and I was like, damn, you know, like that was like the idea coming in where, where Pitt was going to be slamming um, Rip Claw into that, and you know, just to use some image uh, figures that I hadn't used in a while. But anyway, couldn't find that, and then uh, uh, been wanting to put. Uh, this cap and, and this jacket that he has on is from a, uh, I want to say the McKenzie Brothers playset from McFarlane. Uh, so I wanted to, I have been, I, you know, I've had Bucky cap out for a little bit. Just wanted to uh, uh, use him um, with that jacket. I think the jacket looks real cool on him. So anyway, had him out and I was like, you know what, what, uh, what iron, um, what armor did Iron Man have for the time, for the period of time that Bucky was cap? And I looked up a couple of pictures. Look, it, it looks like it was this the hero, heroic age um, armor. So I pulled that out. Um, figured Crossbones is a much hated cap nemesis, so pulled him out as the uh, and, uh, the the bad guy rather. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that was kind of my idea behind this shot. And also, I like pulling out this diorama once in a while. You know, I think I just wanna. Um, I'm gonna eventually just start uh, reviewing my own dials <laughs> because, you know, just looking at this one, um, I like it. But this this criticism that I can definitely lay out on myself, and and what better way to improve as in anything than to be your own, you know, which for the most part we are our own worst critic. So, um, just thinking about it, but I think I've on several different times have pointed out. Um, some of the highlights of this so I might not do it with this style but I'll do it uh, I had the red light um, focused on that to make it look like it was on um, and yeah basically I guess uh, Iron Man got the load down on the hideout but Crossbones snuck up knocked him down for a little bit but Bucky Cap to the rescue alright peace alright man so this is uh, my second night in a row um, of working on uh, some some scenes and some posing and, and so forth. Uh, so yeah, I basically put away the dials for a couple of um, a couple of days just so I can work on some of this, and um, I'm back to it tomorrow. Uh, and so I need to kind of get one of them going that's already paid for. So I need to get that shipped out uh, or painted and then shipped out. But anyway. Uh, First, I just want to thank um, his uh, IG screen name is Corner Levy, I, I believe, um, and uh, he actually uh, just today I received Apocalypse's right uh, leg, uh, right arm, and left arm. So he shipped those over to me, uh, you know, and and it was a you know as a hookup. Um, but I, I, you know, I, we're all we're all in this to try to get uh, the action figures we want and to build our collections, you know. So I, I, I never wanna um, just take a hookup like that, you know. I, I at the very least want to pay for your shipping, um, and then I want to try to send you something back as well, just for the gesture. So I, I appreciate. It. I had mentioned in the video that I needed. Um, the only thing is that he told me that the left arm was the. Um, was the black one, you know, from the, uh, I guess the, I didn't even know there was a black apocalypse, or maybe it wasn't the, I don't, I'm not even sure, he was just like, it's the variant, so, but I'm like, hey, a left arm's a left arm, so, it doesn't look so bad if you can kind of hide it, um, yeah, so, uh, one of the cool surprises of, uh, the X-Men movie that I saw, uh, was it a month ago, three weeks ago, something like that, was at the very end, uh, first appearance of Apocalypse, uh, who is the oldest mutant in the Marvel Universe. Uh, so I wanted, you know, and, and Cable's one of his, uh, you know, the X-Men in general, but Cable, they got beef. They got beef. So, uh, 
seeing that I got the figure, uh, I wanted to put him in a fight scene. Now, the difficulty is that he's a tall-ass dude. Um, so if I put him uh, ground level, if I would have had, you know, cable fighting him ground level, it's going to be with some weapons. That's not going to really matter against someone like Apocalypse. I want it I'm more of a slugfest, so I'm... I'm this dial is perfect. This is a perfect dial for this for this scene. So as I'm uh, driving and just kind of formulating this in my head, uh, I said, "Word, I can just put him on that little shanty dial that I have, and cable will be right at his level." So it worked perfectly. Um, yeah. So I was able to use a couple cutouts. Uh, I've used this cutout before a while ago for the. Um, for his eight, uh, cables, uh, he kind of gets that. I don't know. It's funny because he's one of my favorite characters. I don't know if it's his telekinesis, if that's um, the effect coming from the eye. I'm not sure. I need to read up um, on on or backtrack because I'm I'm keeping up with the with the recent stuff, but not necessarily the older stuff or or not getting um, refreshed on the older stuff. So uh, yeah, I was able to kind of put him in that scene. Originally, uh, the first couple shots I took, Apocalypse was standing up a little straighter, and then it just didn't look right. Um, so what I did is I put him close. I put his entire body closer to this, uh, flexed him out using his ab crunch to, to kind of throw him back a little bit from the uh, the you know the force of uh, Cable's punch, um, and generally. This is usually a little more um, out, and I was trying to get and couldn't get the balance. Um, but the angle that I took the shot from, I think it worked out. Uh, yeah. So before I take it down, I wanted to take uh, a shot with the camcorder, video camera. What do they call today? I don't know. I right, oh, peace.